We use plastic for everyday life, even for things we don't need to. We use it to carry things like groceries. And something we use plastic for so much is to deliver things. Most plastics are usually only used once before they are thrown out or recycled. Well, mostly not really recycled. Most plastics, when you recycle it, is turned into something new. Not what it was before, but into something new like a bench or a rake. Only some types of plastic can be recycled truly. The other plastic that can't be recycled, also known as single-use plastic because it can only be used once, is thrown away. When you put plastic, single-use or not, into the trash, where does it go? Does it go bye-bye forever, just like magically disappearing? No, it goes to a landfill. And after being in an open landfill somewhere in the world, it most likely eventually will go into the ocean. And finally, to the Great Pacific Trash Island, turning into smaller and smaller pieces. This plastic, especially the small pieces, kills fish and other sea life. Not only does plastic go into the trash and then into the ocean, it also gets thrown into the side of the road, which is also bad, I mean very bad, for the environment. As I said, we use plastic a lot. The EPA says, in 2018 alone, the U.S. created about 35,680 tons of plastic, which more than 75% was not recycled and went to the land. Depending on the shape and size, some plastics can be recycled and others cannot. For instance, plastic bottles, the ones you get from the store and use once, can be recycled, but the lids cannot. My class of 68 kids, or science class, each for one week had their family members put the plastic they would have thrown away into a separate collection. And as you see here, in total, our class used 19,575.4 grams of plastic that week. That's a lot of plastic for a class this size. Every year, more and more people are born. That means more plastic is made, and more plastic is going to the ocean. This does not only mean the 35,680 tons that the U.S. makes per year will go up, but the world's plastic production will also. We need to cut down on plastic usage, and when we have to use plastic, we need to recycle. This means stop using plastic shopping bags and instead use paper or cloth bags. Deliver things in paper box stuffing instead of packing peanuts and bubble wrap. And last but not least, buy food in bulk when you can. These things are not only good for cutting down on our plastic usage, they also help save the earth and the living things on it.